There's also one where the prestige is increased by 50%. I didn't know if that means you have 50% prestige from the start or if it means you... Uh, the prestige you get is 50% more. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have pulled that much. Especially since I'm building tents here. Uh, is this the only food we get? Maybe I shouldn't build over it then. Oh, I didn't my food too. Okay, we're fine. Hopefully. I mean, we'll see. Building completed. The train has arrived at the you station. You're going to pay me for this, right? Probably didn't eat that sawmill. Okay. Whatever. What? Are you sure? Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Straight to the heart. Yeah. A new task. Gotcha. My bow is ready. Attention. Building complete. Outside, I'm still <laughs> building towards the zombies directly. Okay. Good enough. The train has arrived at the station. You Attention. Again. Whatever you building say. completed. As long as you pay me. Attention. Building completed. I don't see the iron yet, and we we'll, can get soldiers soon, which is nice. Oh, there's the giant up there. Look at all the corpses here. He's been feasting. Also, apparently they have 20k life in the campaign, Attention. at least on Apocalypse. So they represent armor. So we need a bit more than we usually use. Especially since we use soldiers and not snipers. We're gonna pump up. One giant seems easy. How much time do we have actually? 56 days? Yeah. Are there waves? Did this say something about waves? No, there's no waves. Yeah, this shouldn't be too hard of a map, to be honest. We have a lot of time. There's no announced... I mean, I guess there's still the random waves or something. But this doesn't sound to be too bad. You are gonna pay me for this, Attention. Right? Building completed. Your giant only had 15k? Ooh, nice. That's a cool feature then, though. Do I have snipers? No, I don't. I haven't tech for snipers. Uh, there's a zombie coming over here. Building completed. Gotcha. Faster than my bow. Whatever you say, as long as you pay me. You know. Are you sure? My bow is ready. Wait, did you did make ninety waves? What? Sounds interesting. It could be worse. You are gonna pay me for this, right? That's insane yes. if you did. Wow. That's a lot of patience for a stuff <laughs> to make ninety waves. I got bored after my 75. Mm. Sure. I don't know how much. The lower difficulty doesn't make that much difference though for the lighter waves, does it? I think it only makes the, the early game a bit easier, right? Well, oh, that's an impressive feat though. Well played, well played. You just stack ballistas for- yeah, we could do that too. Actually, I should get a soldier in there as well while we're at it. Do I can do hundred- <laughs> no, I don't have the patience for that anymore. Uh, if, if they bring out a new difficulty or something, I, I probably will play it a bit more, but... 
yeah, until then. Or new content. I mean, there's a new hero in Conan, apparently, but it's not released. Or maybe an old one that they didn't like yet. You could unlock it for a short time, but it's, by the time I noticed, it was already locked again. Gotta check the strength for strength. That is a good idea. Well, I mean, you beat my score, or at least my uh, best number of waves, so. There's no one there. We might still build a wall there, just just to be safe. Oh, they're coming up there. Can't this train giving you so much makes it actually hard to spend enough. Like the snowball mechanic is real with the train. Getting some stuff here now. Once we have food, we can get some soldiers too. Uh, what can we have to have my soldiers? Um, extra range, so plus one range for few and attack, and twenty percent extra damage. Those are the upgrades we're currently working with. I'd like to get the other damage upgrade at some point. I don't know if I'm gonna get the armor and the extra life. Maybe once we have too many points. And we could also get snipers at some point, I guess, but... For now, I think soldiers will do more than... Uh, well enough for everything we need. Yeah, we don't need to be that greedy that we skip the gate at the tracks. Nice, we got the first soldiers. Uh, I played StarCraft 2 for a while. Um, I was pretty good at it. I would say. I mean, I did reach Master Rank multiple seasons and occasionally played against a pro gamer when I had a few good games. I was high enough in scores. I guess we need a bit more wood income. Reporting for duty. Order, sir. All right. Attack! Are you sure? He's still trying to sneak past me here. Just guide me to the we need to find some better choke points. It just imagine if if we hadn't gotten the stone from the train, we would just now get the uh, stone here. It delay us quite a lot. That train tech is so good. Remember the time we raced for a gen? Yeah. I don't know if I want to race for this one though. <laughs> Those were the days though, indeed. I guess we could use one more unit up here actually to make this a bit safer. One ranger. We well, can't keep up with this. Well, we could put this ranger up there and then the new soldiers go down here. Oh, there's a lot of food there. Yeah, I can just build over this here. No one, no one needs this food here. My patrol here and then you patrol here. Oh, when I get that. Still remember the tactics for that too, beard. Ballistas and soldiers in stone to wood towers, which I don't have. But yeah, it's gonna be either a lot of soldiers or some ballistas mixed in there. Do giants normally have armor actually? I never checked, because this one has 30%. Making them tankier than I thought. Oh, 
Oh, this might be closed here. Sweet. Attention. Building completed. Commander? Hmm. Cruising through the maps today. I mean, we haven't won this one yet, but it's it's a good start so far. Put it that way. Giants now we have several okay. I didn't know that. Finally learning something about the game. here too just in case oh apparently there's mini random waves here and we should put some soldiers up there then just maybe this is open too it might be closed though hopefully I guess the random waves aren't swarms technically. So. Random waves are the same as regardless of difficulty. <laughs> Interesting. Yes, that's good for me. But you have more time. Well, do they come at the same time? If the if you have more time, so in the, on some estimations you have more time on lower difficulty, right? So do they then come later, or do they? You just get more random waves over the course of the game. Same time, okay. Well, you better get good then. That's a bit weird though, right? Because some of those random waves are really early and painful on some of the maps. I guess you'll pull less during the wave on lower difficulties cause there's not much, as much there, and you make less noise. Well, we make the same noise, but there's less to pull. Tell me. Sorry, sir. It's kidding, chaps. <laughs> At the time, you could actually build this apocalypse too, if you wanted to. This is still opening up. Maybe I build a ballista up here. There's nothing has come here, but this is probably open too. I guess we should build some ballistas. Also, this is opening up here. Damage. I guess we build a ballista there. I was hoping for some nice choke points. Game is not with me on that. Well, we could get this until here. This looks like a choke Building point we could get. So many soldiers down here. We can up there. At your service. Oh, I haven't even researched um, Ballista. Maybe this is closed off here. Do I move the way? Yeah, he's walking towards me actually. I don't know if that's. I mean, he always randomly walks a bit. I don't know if it's intentional though that he's coming. This is hideo. Yeah. Yeah, once we have. Uh, cottage tech, we'll get ballista tech. Secure some of these places. Meantime, let's get more soldiers. Just 
tell me what to do. Oh, no, no, no. Lot over here though, again. Well, if he's coming, that would make the map definitely more interesting than I thought. Because then we have limited time to get enough soldiers. Well, I guess if he if he gets close, we'll just build like 10, 15 ballistas. You, you, normally we need like five, right? So if we build 15 plus a few soldiers nearby, we should be fine. What is the tech? <laughs> I really hope there's not a random wave coming soon because we're not prepared for those. Our forces are in danger. Ready and waiting. Commander? Charge! Units under attack. Oh, I didn't have energy there. That's why I couldn't build. Yeah, all my soldiers are occupied here, but we can't use them for emergencies right now. It seems, yeah, but it opened up here. It might be a pocket, but I, I wanted to secure the other sides first. I pushed here, but then we had random waves there. I wanted to get some choke points, and this one is a decent one. Even if it's a pocket in the end. Any orders? Like, this is quiet too, but I think there should be some openings. I don't think it's like one one perfect pocket and then one opening to the giant or something. Just all here. Safe. Tell me. Need more energy, though. They are trying to break through. Get him running. How are you on this fine day? Okay. We'll do the same here. We'll build a ballista there and then secure this spot one spot at a time. Fall back here. We'll need more energy, though. Hot and good. Yeah. Well, you're always hot. Oh. Second, I think we don't need that many soldiers there. There's more stuff coming. Let's push this forward here. Oh, maybe one more soldier here. Secured. The soldier hasn't moved any. Uh, the giant hasn't moved any closer recently, though. That's nice. Here and then look for a site to expand to. Well, we still need to find a better spot here. But there's no. I'm glad I took the iron. We haven't found any iron yet. Maybe it's here or something. But we would have needed to do all of this without iron. I mean, once you know the map, it might be better. 
Don't push toward the giant. Yeah, I, I'm hoping that there might be a good choke point. I'm not gonna push too far, but giants uh, don't hear noise. So we just need to stay away from his visual range, which I think is 12 tiles, so... I think we can push a bit towards him. But I'm trying to find a better choke point. I don't want to push further than that. After we find a good choke point, we'll probably go over here. It's the furthest away and potentially nice to claim. Yeah, energy isn't a problem on this map at all so far. We have building space, but we couldn't know that beforehand. This we could defend here. Oh, there's the iron. Let's get them. Of course, my commander. Are you sure? Attention. Well, I guess if you initially push here, you might get it reasonably fast, depending how much is up there. I mean, this is still far enough away from the giant, I think. Let's go. And if he can't, we do the ballista building. Maybe I do need the soldier here for a second. Build a warehouse actually. God, that we can build them now. Far it seems though that the difficulty is a bit off on those maps. The first ones were the hardest, Attention. except for Lowlands. Lowlands was probably the hardest map we played Attention. so far. Building completed. Attention. Me but building these last completed. few have been easier. Since we got all the tech, but... Ready and still a bit weird. So now maps are the easy ones like Survivor. <laughs> now maps are the best. That's what you want to say. I was this closed off here too. In the worst case, we can just build a tower here and we have another nice choke point. And what's the goal here? Population of a thousand. Okay. Can probably start getting a double soldier production then. Giant get closer again. He's getting closer. That sneaky, sneaky little one. Actually, getting quite close. Start building some ballistas here. <laughs> I am sure so giant aren't attracted by noise. This one, I mean, it might be different in the campaign, but in normal runs, yeah, absolutely sure. Well, this looks to be open though. Right? Maybe? Attention. Building Great. Attention. 
Commander? All right. Attention. Order is completed. All the way. Normal runs. Or version 1.1. Uh, I mean, when I played 9%, the giants weren't attracted by noise either. I wanted to snowball my economy a bit more, but I guess we have to get ready for the giant. Commander? So maybe this... Now I feel like this should be closed off <laughs> again. This is a mere map layout. The train has arrived at the station. Oh, more orders. Waiting on orders. Ooh, the energy. Is everything okay? He's getting close, yeah, but now he should run up here, right? Because we're making the noise further up there now. But yeah, normally, I mean, if you make noise, they either come or they don't. They don't slowly inch forward when you make noise. So that would be a completely different mechanic than no they normally have. There's no, I heard some noise, I'm gonna get a few yards closer. There's only, I heard some noise, I'm gonna destroy you. Units under attack. Reporting for duty. He turns around, we know he can, not really, because technically, if he's just walking around, his movement is random, so... He could just walk back. The question okay? is, is Absolutely his movement random? Or is he intentionally coming towards my base? Like on the other maps, you can get unlucky with a giant basically walking into your base. I've had that before. Coming to eat me. I'm getting a bit worried to be honest. He's coming closer. We are building more towers. Once we clear this down here, we'll swing over and bring the soldiers, hopefully in time, to kill him. I guess we don't build economy for now. Get those defense up there. Leave the rangers for this entrance. Oh, there's a path in there probably too. Never moved out of the pit for you a nightmare? So maybe I just got unlucky then. Or it's an apocalypse feature. Cause every movement he made so far I think was towards me. Not the best place though here for to kill him. Because the ballistas aren't all in range. Our defenses are being attacked. Commander? Oh, is this open here? Is that where the random waves are coming from? They are trying to break through. They nearly killed my walls here. Didn't move out for you as well. Let's go in for you. Just my luck. Then, just my luck then. Commander? Well we have this figured out in a second, so then. Yeah, he's coming to me, I don't have to walk towards him. Nice as well. Yeah, we clear this rest and then we'll... Hmm. He's, he has a lot of life though. It's, he's really tank... The, the thing is if I mess up, we have to redo all of this. I wanted to get an overwhelming force. I really don't care how much life and stuff he has. But maybe not. So this wasn't a choke point here, this is really open. Some stone... Oh right, I have stone walls. That I haven't researched because I don't have a wood stone workshop that I still need to take for. Nah, we'll just build more towers. Eventually. And more soldiers. Okay. Well, that's cleared. Let's go. 
get them. That will be easy. I mean, I don't want to fight him just yet if I don't have to. We'll clear on this side a bit more. Attention. I don't have lookout towers. It would be nice to have some lookout towers to see how close he actually is in terms of map layout. Tell me. Reporting for Come on. Charge! Attention. Of course. Building completed. I will kill our enemies. Also, we're getting more veterans this way. Ready and wait. Reporting for duty. Of course, my commander. Do you think they will add stronger iron walls in the future update? It doesn't look like it. I mean, there are, there are the iron walls in the game that you can't destroy or build. They could have just added those if they wanted to. I mean, it would have not been nice to have iron walls, but on the other hand, I mean, how often do you have enough iron to build walls from it? So far, I'd rather build more towers, tenators, snipers, these things. It would be nice to have the option, though. Oh, oh, he's moving back. He's scared. Iron spike traps. Yeah, those. I mean, I never built those except for challenges, though. Wasp cost iron too now, but I think they cost too much iron, so. Unless he had to go a bit up to get down here. He moved back a bit. Yeah, they cost 10 iron, the wasps. It's, it's way too much, in my opinion. Or what they do. Building completed. It looks like the random waves always hit here and then potentially over there. Let's build another tower there just to be safe. At your service. That if the colonist part of the map done in a second. Yeah, now he's running away. So we built all these towers for nothing. Boss can be placed between towers, good for building defense. True. But how often have do we have enough iron to build them? Like so far I'd rather have, would have built more uh, upgraded my towers to executors. But executors now cost oil to upgrade too. So maybe I have some iron left. I guess. Yeah, I like the upkeep of the wasp. It's, it's like one gold or two. I don't know. There's, it was changed recently. I don't know in which direction. So that's kind of nice. But the initial cost is what I have trouble with. Like if it was cheaper to get them initially, I think I'd put them in some locations for defense because the upkeep is really low. But then again, I don't know how much noise they make. So maybe. Maybe they make too much noise and then it wouldn't be worth it either. Could lure him into... Yeah, we'll lure him. I, I need to clear the map anyway, so we'll clear the map as much as we can around him and then lure him into the blisters. Because then we have the biggest potential army we can get without wasting too much time. Ooh, I might need a bit more housing space. Attention. Building completed. The train has arrived at the station. Attention. Of course. Building completed. Attention. Building completed. Well, I also need more food. Okay. Attention. Building completed. Reporting orders. Understood. Area clear. For the colony. Ooh, free energy. I like that. Sorry, 
sir. Yeah, I guess we cleared most of the map now. Understood. And clear the pass to him and then we can pull him. Come on. Put some more stake traps sir. there. Maybe another tower or two. Because if it if this fails, we'll have to do all of this again. On your orders. We have more towers than we usually have though for giants. It's twice the life, but we have twice the amount of towers too. And some soldiers. Attention. Building orders, completed. Sir. Attention. Building completed. Any orders? Okay. Looks like there's nothing there. Is everything okay? Everyone pretty happy with the campaign after waiting? Hey, Mocha. Uh, I think a lot of people are disappointed with some of the campaign because it didn't, didn't deliver on some of the promises they made. Are you sure? uh, I'm having fun though. I mean, I have some gripes with the, the campaign too. But I'm having a lot of fun with it too. What? I think there's a lot of quality of life things they could have done. Yeah, I think most things have potential that could have been done better. Would be pulled. Okay. Well, I can talk about it in a second. We have to kill a giant here. The colony is under attack. It's pretty janky. The extra range for the soldiers helps though, to keep them safe from him. Commander? Easy enough. Okay, go chasing. Didn't even need that many towers, but yeah, didn't want to risk it. Uh, things I think that could be done with some of the missions are, are a bit boring. Like the city, we did a city building map earlier, but we had 46 days of just building a town and then the final wave comes. I think that's not good at map design. I mean, it's, you get basically a perf a really good map and then build up for 46 days. But if you lose after that, it's gonna be terrible to replay. There's nothing happening for 40 days, it's, it's kind of boring. But I don't think that one was good designed. Uh, the hero missions... They t there's too many zombies to kill. Your hero doesn't have an ability, so they take a long time. And there's a bit of pixel hunting, which at least I don't enjoy, but they improved that quite a bit already with some features to make them easier to find. I guess we just built more units to clear the rest faster. Stuff like that. Or the tech tree is really... If you pick the wrong text in the beginning... Uh... You will have real trouble clear doing some parts of the campaign in the beginning. Like I picked the mostly the correct text so far, I would say. I had a good time, but if you pick the wrong things, uh, you might have to restart the campaign. So, yeah, and then there's been enough time testing each map. So, yeah, what's chat is saying. They need a bit more test. I think a lot of things I have a problem with could have been been better by testing. I had the advantage of starting the campaign uh, a week later, so quite a few things are already improved for me. For duty. Ready Apocalypse mode seems. I think it's just that's the other thing. The maps, the difficulty of the maps is a bit random. Like, look at Lowlands yesterday. I struggled so much on that map, but all the other maps today. I've been pretty easy. Uh, have you lost any? I lost the hero ones today, I think, right? But that was because I was greedy. There we go. 